physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to talk about what causes your knee to click, you know, or grind, snap, creak, and when do you need to worry about it? That's a good question, Bob. I've had many people over the years come in very concerned about noise making of their one of their joints. And that's what it is, really, joint noise, yeah. uh, you know, if we want to generalize it. And we're going to talk about all the possible causes and and then next video we're going to show you some of the ways to get rid of it sure so let's talk about number one brad probably probably most com one of the common ones is cavitation cavitation oh cavitation you know it's one of those things that in physics you know all about it because it has to do with uh I a hate, fluid i hated physics i loved physics it's my yeah. favorite but uh, you know a boat propeller cavitates all the time and it makes if you look down there's air bubbles right behind a boat, and that's because the water is cavitated because of the vacuum created by the prop. The same thing happens to your knee. There's liquid in there, there's fluid in there, and there's a vacuum that's created, and then the liquid goes into a gas, and that's the cavitation, and that makes a pop. Isn't that interesting? Oh, so all so this happens in your joints, and that's how chiropractors get rich, because they cavitate joints and it pops. Brad, be ah, careful. Ah, whatever. <laughs> it's true. Anyways, it's, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just, you know, cavitation. But we should mention that clicking and popping in our professional world, we call it crepitus. Well, it can be called a lot of different things. Um, it's not called crepitus? Well, yeah, crepitus is the one. Of the that ways. sounds good. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it's like, uh, are we talking about nitrogen? Is the yeah, guess? right, um, right. And so. that has to do with... When you scuba dive, you go down in your, your uh, when you come up too fast, the nitrogen goes from a liquid to a gas, and that causes the bends. See, it all fits together. Yeah. All right. So I, I think <laughs> this is something that my knee had for years, from young age on. Mm -hmm. I remember when I'd go to church, and I, as a good Catholic boy, you had to kneel down. And I genuflect. Would, genuflect, and my mm -hmm. knee would always crack. And so, <laughs> well, you hear a lot of that in the yeah, Catholic crack. Church where people got to do that. You know, everyone's All pretending right. it's we'll not there. We'll move on, Brad, here. <laughs> Next thing, a ligaments and tendons. Mm. Some ligaments and tendons can catch as they slide over a bony bump. Mm -hmm. So one good example is this, is the IT band. So the IT band, if you look at the stripe on my pants. Yeah, that's a good uh, you know, it indicator. It runs all the way down. It's a thick, heavy band, and it runs and it attaches below the knee. So if it's tight or if it's, it heats down, mm -hmm. it can actually cause that band to, when every time I straighten the knee, and I go back over this way, it actually goes over the bump here, mm -hmm. and it gives you some, possibly some pain after a while, mm -hmm. but it can also just do it at first without any pain. And you can put your finger right on there and usually can feel, feel the some snap. of the bump and you go yeah. off, you know. So, again, at time, over time, it can get irritated and actually mm. cause pain. Yeah. So. Uh, number three, a uh, cartilage tear. Do you yeah. want to talk about that, Brad? Well, uh, typically we're talking about the meniscus. Right. Uh, which is not like the hyaline cartilage. Right, right. Which we're talking is, about the something that gets actually torn. It's a little thicker, and it yep. can get folded in on itself. Yep. It can rip and cause a open spot. There, there's a number of actually different terms on how the meniscus can... Uh, yeah, to hurt. Have it lesions or yeah. tore. Uh, but yeah, that can be a problem. And that, that's one that will cause the knee to actually lock up. It, uh, it can. And, um, uh, it's like having a pebble in your shoe, too, if you have a, a small piece of it yeah. break off. Yep. Yeah, so, they call those floaters right. floating around in the joint. And, and unfortunately, they can happen to you without injury as you get older. Yeah. Everything can happen to you as you get older, Brad. Yeah, you it's, know, uh, it's a, it. the aging process is, uh, is an adventure. Well, let's talk about the other one, Brad, osteoarthritis. Uh, so let's talk about that hyaline cartilage. So at the end mm -hmm. of the, the femur, you have the, the bone, as, and generally you want it to be nice and smooth so it can Right, it's very slippery, shiny, surface. and white, yeah. and then but it starts to rust. It starts to rust, <laughs> it flakes off, yeah. flakes off, and it becomes roughened. Right. So uh, all sorts of problems, and that can give clicking, popping, grinding yes. sounds. Ooh. Oh, you've heard that before. Yeah. Oh so, you know, osteoarthritis. Osteo means bone, arthritis. Uh, arthur means the joint. I itis means inflammation. So there you go. Hey, very good. 
Right, that, I that's, that. that's how these terms come about. But a lot of clinicians may refer to this condition as bone on bone yeah. because mm. the, the hyaline cart cartilage wears away yeah. and you're just hitting bone on bone. Yeah. And it so. can be very audible. All right, next one, uh, patellofemoral pain syndrome. Mm. So you have your kneecap, and what you may not realize is that the kneecap actually moves up and down when you bend the knee. Yeah, it's floating it, around there. It falls along in a canal. There's a canal that is made for, for it. And if it's not running in that canal right, let's say it's running off to the side, one side or the other, yeah. it can roughen up the, the bottom of that kneecap and yeah. it, it can start making sounds. You know, it can get roughened up. It can have grinding, popping, crunching, yeah. you know. You'll feel it too. I, I just have people do this, put their, their hand on the kneecap and they go like this and you can feel it crunching. Yep. It's, yeah. uh, it's very palpable, if you will, or you can feel it. Sometimes that just wears out due to uh, age too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, things maltracking of the kneecap. The all adds up. The final reason why you might have, Ooh. one of the reasons why you may have popping is if you injured your knee at one point mm -hmm. and you have scar tissue somewhere, you know, yep. could be on in the muscles, could be in the ligaments, whatever. Yep. Um, that scar tissue could catch on the surrounding surface mm -hmm. and actually create some joint noise. So Yeah. For example, you'll get a knee injury when you're young and the doctor will more than likely say, you'll know this when you get older. You'll have a higher likelihood of arthritis in that joint. And then you'll say, oh, yeah, whatever. And then 30, 40 years older, you'll remember, you that. remember that. You feel the pain and yes. everything comes together. So, uh, you know, the question is, when should you be concerned enough to see a physician? Good question. Generally, the rule of thumb is if there's no pain, there's no swelling, there's no locking, there's no weakness, yep. you generally don't have to see a physi physician. Um, I, I would, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of caveats to that because some of the things are going to probably develop in the pain, mm -hmm. uh, but you don't know that. <laughs> uh, you don't know which ones right, are which. Right, right. So... I, I would generally, if it, if if you're not having any one of those problems, pain, swelling, locking, or weakness, I probably won't see a physician. Right. Uh, I'd just monitor it, see yeah. if it gets worse over time, because sometimes these things we were talking about that before it can improve over time. Uh, yeah, exactly. Of, Smooth out. The, the body adapts yep. and makes a different. Very good. Uh, good point. Yeah, that's happened to me in a couple occasions. <laughs> a lot of head injuries. <laughs> <laughs> So next one, uh, when is it a real worry? Um, if you have an injury, especially an athletic injury, yeah. and you hear a loud, a loud pop, mm -hmm. that's not a good sign. And, and it's followed by pain, swelling, yeah. disability. Right. Yeah. You know, we're thinking then you maybe tore a ligament or you, or you tore a tendon, um, and you are at that point going to need to see a physician. Mm -hmm. Physician. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you, know, you often hear that, like somebody's – They'll say out out in the crowd, like, I heard the pop. Yeah. Um, when somebody got hurt on the field or hurt on the basketball sure. court. So. Yeah. I always wonder about that, but. Really? I've never heard a pop. I've, I've, I've heard people say that all the time. Wow. People say a lot of things. <laughs> no, I, I, but I, I, I certainly believe it in the, the person whose body it is. That they feel it. Yeah, and yeah. they might hear it or a little right. bit of both. One kind of right. feeds the other. But no, I, I suppose people I, 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 I don't I know. heard a pop one time just when I turned my ankle bad. And it wasn't, I don't think I, I even uh, tore it. it maybe mean, it was just some cavitation yeah. that was audible. Yeah. I should take it all back. <laughs> I'm just being a little. All right. On our next video, we're going to show you how to fix your knee from clicking, popping, and creaking. So check it out. It's part of the series. Oh, right. Did we talk about the series? Well, we'll was that on the last it. No, video? we'll talk about the series right now. Okay. So this is a video is a part of a series of videos on knee pain. Right. So go to bobandrad.com, go to the program section, program. look for the one on knee pain, mm -hmm. and you'll see that this title, How to Fix Your Knee from Clicking, Popping, and Creaking. You'll have to scroll through right. the videos, and the title will be there. Pick out the title that fits your question. Watch it for about 10 minutes. There is a PDF clicker you can click on it'll print out a review and exercises from the whole video you mean so a link a, P a pdf link what did i say clicker yeah well you know you click with that little thing on the mouse and that's the clicker yeah that's yeah. true well bob we need to talk 
to people that understand uh, computers like me. God. <laughs> yeah, because there's a few of us. Yeah. Anyways, uh, good, good luck. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's free, by the way, not even an email. Yeah.